Now, this is a little early, actually pretty early, which makes me wonder, are they starting to do like the early access kind of thing? I wonder. I don't know. But I'll say I haven't actually seen a collected miscellany in a very, very long time. I kind of stopped doing the reactions to these for a while. But with this being early, now there's more of a reason to check it out because now the patch isn't out and we're all playing the game. So let's check out Mulani and Entrepreneuring Scenic Tour. I'm actually going to learn how to play the character. If you visit the people of the springs in Natland, Stay. look out for the water sports shop with the questionable looking floaters and surfboards on display at the entrance. Questionable. That shop belongs to Mualani, oh. a surfer girl likely to come crashing into your life unannounced, like a rogue wave onto the shore. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? Thanks in part to her so. tribal background, Mualani's connection to the hydro element runs deep. Her versatile element yeah, no skill lets her travel on water and boosts her attacks by charging them up through collisions with enemies. Oh, okay. Her elemental skill, Mualani can whip out her surfboard at a moment's notice, ready to navigate the waves at high speed. She also gains Night Soul points and enters the Night Soul's blessing state. Dang, look at her. In this state, Mualani continuously consumes Night Soul points as she rides her sharky surfboard. That is so her sick. Her movement speed is increased. And as well as being able to travel on water, she can even surf along liquid phlogiston without suffering damage. Oh, so it's not lava. When all Night Soul points are used up, or when her elemental skill is used again, the Night Soul's blessing state ends. Makes sense, In yeah. areas with Natland's phlogiston mechanics, if the active character enters a specific state, Mualani can take the field oh, already in the Night Soul's nice. blessing state with Night Soul points available. That can save you. Additionally, when Mualani surfs on water or liquid phlogiston in the Night Soul's Blessing State, she will consume Night Soul points or phlogiston. Oh, at a, at a rate. much lower rate, yeah. In the Night yeah. Soul's Blessing State, Mualani's normal attack is replaced with the more powerful Sharky's Bite, which deals hydro damage based on Mualani's- No, don't hit him, no! Four particles. Colliding with an enemy in this state tags them, and gives Mualani one stack of wave momentum. Oh. Wave momentum has a maximum of three stacks, and each stack increases the damage dealt by Sharky's Bite. When three stacks are reached, Sharky's Bite is replaced with Sharky's Surging Bite, okay. further increasing the damage dealt. Wave momentum is See, but put these videos out before the character when drops. When an enemy is attacked by Sharky's Bite, this is great. tag is removed, and shark missiles are fired at up to a certain number of tagged enemies nearby. Shark missiles deal hydro damage and remove their target's tag. Okay, After all right. After unlocking the talent heat-resistant freshwater flow, oh, not them. What the heck? with Sharky's surging bite will generate a floater nearby. Bruh. Mualani can collect floaters she herself has generated to restore her night soul points. Oh, okay. So I bet you when she goes through Mualani's them, it doesn't actually... ...fires a super shark missile, which homes in <laughs> on enemies and deals AoE hydro damage Based on her max, max HP. HP. After unlocking the talent Dio! Natland's Greatest Guide, when a nearby party member triggers a <laughs> Night Soul Burst, Mualani gains Wave Chaser's Exploits. Using her elemental burst clears all Wave Chaser's Exploits to increase the damage. Oh, all the marks. Okay. Staying positive and optimistic often oh, makes a person that? far more productive. When Mualani is in the party, interacting with certain harvestable items in areas with Natland's phlogiston mechanics will restore an amount of phlogiston. Spray feather also, gill. nearby Natland regional specialties will be marked on the mini map. Nice. If you vacation in the people of the Springs territory, Mualani will be more than happy to be your local guide. But anyone who steps out of line will find themselves in hot water. Oh, very, uh... Sharky Mulani water starts the battle by using her elemental skill to enter the night soul's blessing state. Then right. she surfs the battlefield, tagging enemies, tagging enemies. And charging her wave momentum. At charge level 3, she performs a sharky's surging bite, harnessing all Burning? Her surfing prowess to deal with oh, increased melt. damage burn to enemies. Vapor. When energy is full, Mulani fires off a super shark missile, and she and Sharky ride the tide to victory. Ride the tide to victory. Like many business people, Mualani entertains certain superstitions about wealth generation, such as a belief in good omens. Perhaps that's why she likes to visit Sitlali and have her fortune told. 
Oh, that's what she was. But I don't think Mualani has blind faith in the answers she gets. More likely, Look at the NPCs. she's simply curious about what's <laughs> next in store for her. What nice. or who is waiting around the corner. Oh no. And if the omens bode ill, no big deal. She'll either bide her time till her luck turns around, or charge on through to the other side. Yeah, Sometimes she's so happy go lucky. Is a powerful force that can drive away bad luck. Look at her. All right. Wow. So yeah, I just love that these this came out before the character drops cuz everybody's playing the game by the time these usually drop, you know? Star Rail does it early or it's like actually exciting to see it, you know, so you can know what's happening ahead of time. So yeah, it's great that this came out now. But yeah, essentially, she'll enter the Night Soul Blessing state when she hits her, her skill, elemental skill. She has three, like, little fishes. And you gotta mark at least three enemies when you're surfing. And once those are all full, you're fully charged. And then you hit. So basically, she's like a forward vape character. Like, it, it kind of feels like Nuki, you know? Like, kind of like a new character. You put all your buffs together and you do one big attack that does, like, a big number of damage. She's like a forward vape character. Wave momentum has a maximum of three stacks. Basically. And each stack increases the damage dealt by Sharky. So yeah, so that right there, I'm assuming that doesn't actually apply Hydra, right? Because that would actually ruin the reaction. You wouldn't be able to hit the vape on the on this hit. When three stacks are re If that vaped, and that's been a thing lately, where like you know, there's actually hits that don't apply the element. If you even if you ever saw Gaming, when Gaming does like his bounce off of the enemy, that doesn't actually apply Pyro, which makes it available for him to do reactions like vape. So, Sharky's bite yeah, fairly simple. With Sharky's surging bite, further increasing the damage dealt. With and the burst is just like more damage as well when that pops off. Cleared. Okay. When an enemy is attacked by Sharky's bite, their tag is removed. And shark hmm. missiles are fired at up to a certain number of tagged enemies nearby. Shark yeah, so it, it is mostly single target, but there are some aspects of her kit that actually hit other enemies. Like you just like you just mentioned there. But yeah, just think of Mulani as a forward vape character, basically. She's a forward vape like character you're gonna probably try and hit like a big reaction on with your big shark attack. So and supposedly I've heard a lot about Mulani in beta where like people were very excited for her and then essentially like in the beta she just got worse and worse and worse and worse. I assume her numbers got lower. So you know, I, I don't have to look at that or like it's you know hear about it too much because it kind of kills your hype for characters sometimes. But I did hear that Mulani was like butchered essentially. <laughs> um but yeah, apparently I think she'll still be she'll be fine, but she won't be game changing like she supposedly was going to be but yeah or forward vape character uh kind of like a nukish character but it looks like she has some some more like other hits in her kits now so all right i like it not too crazy about the you know like uh, the pick in terms of like the strong teams and whatnot but uh i will most certainly have fun surfing i can tell you that I don't really care if the damage is, is low, if it's midi medium, or if it's high. If I can surf around that land, I'll be happy with that. So that'll be all for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I did a poll. Most of you guys are actually pulling for Kanich. So I was going to ask, like, are you, you going to pull for Mulani? But no, you guys already answered. Kanich is the highest percentage of people who want to pull. So yeah, <laughs> I will catch you guys in the next one.